theme of Faith Week this year is the cost of living crisis. It affects nearly all of us in one way or another, but it causes actual harm to many people, particularly those with life-limiting illnesses who should be eating healthy food, but who also need to keep warm and who often have equipment that is energy hungry. Sadly, we know that many of those people are now choosing between keeping that equipment on all the time, as it is meant to be, or trying to do without it for some periods of time, let alone about the rest of their needs. Those of us who can give to charities to try and help people in need must do so. But in Judaism, the word for charity, tzedakah, is the same word for justice. In a just world, everyone would have what they need according to their needs. They would have basic human needs as absolute rights, food, clothing, shelter, light and heat. But the other right that we need to give to people is the right to dignity. In Jewish thought, the highest degree of charity is to give to someone without knowing to whom you give and without them knowing from where it came. That way, no one can feel beholden to anyone else and no one can feel like someone owes them a favour. I'm going to read a poem by an American Jewish woman poet called Merle Feld, which is called Supermarket Prayer, and it talks about the sadness that we can and should feel if we take away someone's dignity, however inadvertently. Last week in the supermarket, at an unlikely hour, I saw a woman I know. She tried to avoid me, pretended not to remember me, but I had unwittingly trapped her, blocked escape in the tuna fish aisle. I just wanted to say hello. My cruelty was inadvertent, but up close I saw her hair was in disarray and dirty, her face without its careful mask of lipstick, blusher, shadow. She was wearing a ratty old jacket, the discard of her husband, or perhaps her teenage son. 9.30 on a Tuesday morning, dressed like that. Suddenly, I knew she was out of work and ashamed, and coming undone there in the tuna fish aisle. I tried as best I could to help her cover her nakedness, but all that day and the next, she haunted me. How strange, I thought, how strange and how sad that she should feel threatened, judged, shamed by me. The rabbis say, when you bring colour to someone's face, it's as if you shed their blood. Forgive me. May you be restored to your full self, soon, speedily, in our day. And let us say, Amen.